Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene is under fire for her social media activity. Now, she's already known for supporting extremist conspiracy theories, and CNN is now reporting on her posts and others she's liked that seem to call for violence against Democrats. Green was elected to Congress by a nearly 50-point margin in November. Now just a few months into her term, the representative to Georgia's 14th congressional district may face a measure looking to expel her from the House. NBC News correspondent Blaine Alexander joins us now from Rome, Georgia. Blaine, good morning. So first, just tell us about what has been found on her social media. What was in that CNN report? Well, Savannah, good morning to you. These are posts from back in 2018, 2019, before she became a U.S. Congresswoman. And again, these are reports from CNN. NBC has not independently seen these posts, which have since been deleted. But in, in a series of likes and in a series of uh, kind of Facebook comments, she appears to essentially promote violence against Democratic leaders, against House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Hillary Clinton, former President Barack Obama. There's one comment that appeared to have her like on it, in which she liked a, stat, a statement uh, suggesting shooting Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and another one she falsely accuses her of treason. So a number of these statements, now NBC has reached out, we've reached out to her office, not gotten a response from them directly, but she did respond to that CNN article in which she calls it essentially a hit piece, saying that they're attacking her for her time before she was in Congress. She also made the point in there that there are other people uh, at times handling her social media accounts. But again, in that statement about the CNN piece, she did not uh, push back on the accuracy uh, or the validity of those posts. Now, Blaine, I'm curious, what about what do voters think in Greens, Georgia district? What did they tell you about their opinions on her? Yeah, so right now we're in Rome, Georgia. We're about an hour and a half or so outside of Atlanta, just for perspective. So in North Georgia, uh, you know, this is a district that she won very handily. And when, mm -hmm. uh, when I, when our producer spoke to people here in this area, it really is kind of split. You have some people, I spoke with one woman who essentially said to me, I think the way she thinks. And they really enjoy the fact that she's a fighter. That's something that we've heard from a couple of people, that she stands up for what she believes in, that she's a fighter and isn't afraid to say what she thinks, whatever that may be. Uh, but but then we've also talked to some people who say that it goes too far and that they do not like the type of rhetoric. Take a look. She's bold. She speaks the truth. You know, and she stands behind what she says. And where law politicians don't do that anymore. I think she's a, um, a good spokesperson for the Republicans. That's my opinion of her. She's a go-getter. And um, I think we need somebody that um, will step up to the plate. Yeah, so again, a lot of mixed opinions. But here's another voter. Listen to what she had to say. Take a look. Just because you say something over and over again does not make it true. And I haven't seen anything for unity. And everything I've seen from her was disdain is, is frankly uh, against what I believe in as a patriot in the Constitution. It's okay. Uh, we run elections. You win some, you lose some. But we don't need to lie and disrespect everything we built because you lost. So that's how I really feel personally. I don't see her as a person for people. So there you have it again, Savannah, a lot of people giving different opinions. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a district that she was just elected into Congress uh, just a few months ago. She's very popular here back in town, holding a series of town halls since she's been here. Uh, so certainly depends on who you ask. But again, a lot of support here in her home district. So, Blaine, you just mentioned she just made it to Congress, but now there's a measure to expel her from the House. What are Democrats saying about that and what are the next steps? Well, you know, there are a lot of people who are saying that these, that the comments, the Facebook posts are certainly unacceptable. And yes, some person is going even as far, one member going as far as to say she needs to be expelled from Congress. That's something, though, that would take a lot of agreement. Apparently, two thirds or so of the body would need to agree to that. Uh, so that would take a number of Republicans actually voting for that measure as well. Now, as far as what Republicans have been saying, uh, the minority leader, Kevin McCarthy, has said that he plans to have a conversation with her. That's what he said through his spokesperson. Uh, Steve Scalise has condemned violence of any kind, as has Liz Cheney. But again, the vast majority of Republicans in terms of speaking out strongly uh, have not done so yet. Uh, Representative Adam Kinzinger has spoken out strongly, again, saying that these types of remarks are not uh, appropriate and they can't stand. Samantha. Blaine, thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. 
and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.